Digby, you've been here today to talk to an audience of Yorkshire business people about the opportunities that lie ahead for them in international markets. Uh, what, can, what, what is the most important thing for you that they can take away from today? Oh, I think confidence. I think today a smaller business in Yorkshire will perhaps have thought, oh yes, maybe I'll export for the first time. Or maybe that was a useful little hint, perhaps talk to a customer or supplier, perhaps think about going to a bank that will stimulate export. Or indeed, think about the value-added equation part of what we all talked about. That if you're going to win in overseas markets or attract inward investment in, you've got to be able to sell this. You've got to sell your knowledge. You can't put a price on that. And, and that is where a Yorkshire business will win in the 21st century. If what a Yorkshire business is going to do at home or overseas is sell on price and only price, a good example of that would be at the moment, they can say, well, we can make things and sell around the world because sterling is so cheap. Mm. But of course, sterling won't always be cheap. And then you haven't got a sustainable business model because the moment the currency fluctuates the other way, you, you, you're finished. So it's got to be based on something deeply ingrained and sustainable. And that, of course, is a knowledge-based, value-added good or service. I think today, if a smaller business more than anything else has thought about one, skilling the people, two, going off into export markets, and three, thinking of innovative ways of financing that, then it's been worthwhile. And we've heard today that people should be focusing on recovery rather than recession, that we're moving out of it. Uh, how important is international trade to fueling that recovery? Well, if you think about a market being, for a small business, say Yorkshire, or maybe the North, or maybe UK, well, as you recover and you get more activity, so will all your competitors. And it won't recover that quickly. So will you take on more people? Will you make more money? Possibly. But then you're going to need more working capital at a point when there is a real squeeze on that because every bank is going to be having to support every business. If you look internationally, you widen the market that you can go at. You widen the examples you can get of good practice. You actually widen competition, and therefore through that, if you rise to it, then you become more productive, you become more efficient, and then you clean up back at home, because you're actually better, and therefore can beat the competition at home. So as the economy globally gets more robust and comes out of recession, as Britain does as well, and Britain is, right now as we speak, coming out of recession, then what we're going to see, I hope, are stronger, better, smaller businesses, employing more people, making more money, because they expose themselves to better and bigger competition. And just finally, do you, do you feel that um, the size of the audience here today is a reflection of the confidence that you mentioned earlier, that, that people are starting to look further afield, look for opportunities? I, I actually applaud um, international business networks because to have that type of audience, that size of audience, when you know, money is tight and this is discretionary spend, I have to say, I thought, well done. Because you know, if you'd seen half that number of people, I'd have thought, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Mm. So I take my hat off to the, to the businesses of Yorkshire, because that shows more confidence, actually, than any of the speeches you heard today would give. Thanks very much.